Good morning, Stitchy people. It is Friday, April 24th. It is the first day of 24 Hours of Cross Stitch Marathon, and it is just after 7 a.m. I am awake, and I am showered, and I have had breakfast, and I have coffee, um, and I have been awake since 5.30 this morning. Um, I don't know whether I was super excited about 24 Hours of Cross Stitch, or I just or I just couldn't sleep because it was not a great night for sleep regardless woke up at 5 30 and could not get back to sleep so went ahead and got up and I am here doing this video in future snippets um, right now obviously the stitch count and hour count is zero uh, actually I probably won't have a stitch count I'll probably just have a timer but it's zero if I decide to put a timer in this section it's gonna be like in this little area here. Um, in future sections, I will tell you the stitching time that has elapsed. That will not be the time of the weekend that has elapsed, but the actual time I spent stitching that has elapsed. Uh, elapsed. I have <clears throat> a couple of different apps I'm gonna try to use for counting my time for stitching. Um, I'll give you more of an idea about those and what I liked and what I didn't like towards the end or maybe in another video. i um, not gonna talk about it right now, it's way too early. Um, so as far as today goes, the plan is I have eight hours of work um, that I need to start in just a few minutes. And after the eight hours of work, or um, maybe during my lunch break and then after eight hours of work, um, I am going to try to get eight hours of stitching in. <laughs> because, yeah, so <laughs> uh, you already know the plan for, um, for the priority of my projects. Um, I have a couple of them already in my timekeeping app. Um, so that will be, that will be the plan. Um, as soon as I'm able to start stitching, I will start stitching and try to split that over the next three days. And then I will do, um, I will do a little video check-ins once in a while. Um, certainly not going to do it every hour. I think that would be overkill. Um, but I will do, um, I'll do a few. Um, and then I'll splice them all together and I will post them for you and um, hopefully we can all share our 24 hours of cross stitch adventure together. So hope you're having a great day and I will see you again very soon. Hello again everyone. Uh, it is about 11.30 on Friday afternoon. I got a little bit of stitching in before work um, and I've gotten some stitching in at lunchtime. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, I'm going to try to do this real quick because I need to get back to work. Um, but uh, we are uh, currently an hour and 36 minutes into my 24 hours of cross stitch this weekend and I am happy to announce I, I have a finish. I have finished the beading, thank goodness. Um, I will tell you that um, I have learned that if I ever do beading again, I'm going to try to find um, a really blunt needle because I have stabbed myself no less than like seven times in the hour and 36 minutes that I have been stitching on this. <laughs> the needles I have are a lot better. Um, they are Bowen um, size 10. Ugh, they're sticking. Um, Bowen size 10 beading needles, uh, and these are short ones, which I love. Short, short is cool. Um, makes it so much easier to maneuver and stuff when you're cross stitching with beads. So um, I will say I cheated just a little bit. I'm a little bit of a cheating McCheater face. Um, this stitch, this was meant to be one of these, um, but I wasn't paying attention and I did that instead and then I just left it. And then over here, and you can kind of tell since I'm pointing it out, um, there's actually supposed to be like a cross here and I was like, nope, done, done, super done. So anyway, this is a finish. My first finish, um, actually probably my only finish for 24 hours of cross stitch, but regardless, I finally got this finished, super excited. Um, probably won't get into any more stitching until after work, so it'll be a while before I make an up another update, but I um, hope you're all having fun. See you soon. Hello. So um, I wasn't going to update again before work is over, but it turns out my one o'clock meeting got rescheduled to next week and then the mail came and I got super excited because um, something I forgot to tell you all about was that I ordered a bunch of sleeves from Love You More Studio Co. Um, if you watch Michelle G. Bendy Stitchy, um, she loves these. She is a rep for them, um, so she has quite a few. 
and uh, I have never had any. I was super excited to try some, and so I ordered some, and I'm gonna do, instead of opening them um, before I, um, before I made an update, I decided to hold on and do a really quick um, update, and uh, I'm gonna unbag these for you. I've never done an unbagging before, so if this if this is weird or awkward, I apologize. Um, but this bag is awesome. It's like pink with gold flowers, and I'm hoping I'm not cutting anything important. Ooh. So you get the real, real reactions because <laughs> I guess I'm gonna open stuff. And everybody's going to send me all the notifications. <laughs> I'm just leaving it in there because this is this is what we do now. So um, this so all of my sleeves are in this nice bag inside the other bag. And there's this really cool wax. Um, you can't see the detail. This really cool wax seal that I'm going to try not to destroy. Because I might save that and... Um, uh, my friend Heike over at uh, Stone Call Coffee Crafts has turned one of these into a, a needle minder. This one looks a little thin, so I might not be able to do that with, with that, but it's really cool. So, I have a bunch. How many did I order? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> most of these are um, the smaller version versus the larger version. Um, and I got a combination of sleeves and snuggles. I don't really know what the difference is. We're going to find out together. So, um, look, it's cute. It's desserts. This one is soft and squishy. I'm going to assume that this is a snuggle. Um, okay, so it came with a bookmark and it says Mrs. Darcy. Okay, hold on a second. My husband is texting me. I'll try. Okay, so that was super important. He found out that the local Taco Bell doesn't have his order anymore. <laughs> anyway, so it comes with um, a bookmark, um, and these are different literary characters, I think. Uh, well, I know this is a literary character, Mrs. Darcy, from um, one of the Jane Austen novels. Not a huge fan of Jane Austen, but it's it's Mrs. Darcy's coffee order, which is kind of cute. So that's, that's the first one. Like I said, I'm going to assume that this is a snuggle because it's squishy. Squishy, squishy. This one is also squishy, and it's it's like fuzzy too. Popsicles! Super cute. Ooh, this one's tie-dye inside. Look at that. So uh, what I plan to use these for, and this has got a pretty marbleized inside, what I plan to use these for is basically like little project bags. Um, that's what I've seen Michelle um, G use them for. Sushi! Because I love sushi. And this has sushi on the inside too. So these are all like floofy. Oh, well, maybe the snuggle refers to the outside fabric. Yeah, so a couple of these have like flannel on the outside. Look how cute. They're donuts with faces. How can you not love donuts with faces? Super cute. And it's got polka dots. Yeah, so two of these are like uh, fuzzy almost on the outside and the other ones are a smoother fabric. So I think that's the difference between a snuggle and a not snuggle, a sleeve and a snuggle. And then this one, I'll read that in a second. Um, this one, yeah. <laughs> Rainbows and unicorns and sparkles, it's sparkly. Um, oh, that's cool. Dream big, glitter, shine, wish. It's got lots of, lots of empty stuff on the inside. So this is the larger size and this is the small size, so. Um, so I got those. So those are really cool. I'm very excited. This is just a list of, uh, of the things that I ordered and it says thank you. Super cute too. It's not focusing. It won't focus except way back here. So anyway, anyway, so, um, just a little interlude and I will see you later today. Hi there. It's Friday evening now. Uh, I wanted to do a, one more quick update. This will probably be the last one today. Um, the work day is done. Dinner has been cooked and eaten. Uh, my husband has gone off to work. He's working night shift all weekend, um, which is part of the reason that I have so much time to be able to do 24 hours of cross stitch. Not that I couldn't do it when he's here. It's just easier uh, when I don't have to work around his schedule or feel um, like I want to spend time with him instead of doing crafty stuff. 
So anyway, he's he's wandered off. He works for the local water company. Um, so not only is he essential, he's kind of integral. He helps make sure that the um, that the water stays safe and drinkable and all that fun stuff and clean. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there's there's no uh, staying home for any of those guys. They have to be at the plant making sure that all the chemicals are right. So, uh, not gonna lie, I'm really tired. Uh, it's been a long day. I woke up way too early this morning, so I don't know how much I'm gonna stitch. I was gonna try to get another, like, six and a half hours, but it is, it's 6.30 now, so that would be 1 a.m. I don't see that happening. So I'll get as much stitching in as I can. Part of my problem is my brain is, like, my brain is just so tired and all I can, all it really wants to do is to try to work on my knitting, um, which I want to show you. Let me see. Okay. I don't know what that did. Hold on just a second. So this is my most recent knitty project. You saw just the teeniest, tiniest little bit of it in my last floss tube. I've gotten a lot more done which I think is cool. I've got my yarn bowl here. These are all my colors I'm going to use. I'm trying now to decide whether I'm going to go back to this, uh, I think this is roses and bloom color. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go back to that or if I'm going to go straight from the blue into this pink color called stiletto. So, um, that is the decision my brain wants to deal with tonight. It doesn't really want to deal with this project that I have decided I'm supposed to be working on. So, but I'm determined to get some work done on this whip this weekend. So as you can see, I've, I've changed my setup. Of course, I didn't show you what my setup looked like before, <laughs> but I've got my personal computer over here. I got Netflix already. Those are some boxes that the cats hang out in. Um, I have my cross stitch piece with the pattern and everything there. Um, I have my knitting, which I need to put away, but the, the work laptop has already been put away for the weekend. I try to, to put it back in the bag and leave it completely, um, completely gone and out of sight so that I can really separate myself from work. I also have my glass of water because I haven't been drinking enough water. There's a pack of M&Ms. I think there's some more, if I can show you without showing you too much trash, um, there's some more chocolates and things over there. So I'm fully stocked. I apologize if the shaky cam is uh, is causing you issues, but I'm fully stocked. I'm going to try to get some stitches in and um, I will probably talk to you again tomorrow. I also forgot to mention that um, during all of that, between work ending and getting dinner fixed, we had a nice hailstorm for maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, and it was, it was pretty... Uh, significant. Um, the hail was probably golf ball sized at its, at its largest and it filled the yard. I was trying to get, I didn't think about getting video of it until it was pretty much over. My husband got some video. If I can, uh, if I can manage to get that off of his phone at some point this weekend, then uh, I will insert that here. Good morning, stitchy people. It is Saturday and it is 9.35. Um, I was going to get up earlier. My husband got home from work at 7-ish this morning, um, and I was going to go ahead and get up so that he could have the bed and go to sleep, but I was super tired, so I gave myself a break. I slept in a little bit. Um, I'm up now. I've got my my cereal. <laughs> Getting ready to have some breakfast. I have my, um, I have my Big Bang Theory mug. Um, and I have, uh, I don't know if you can tell, I've got some frothed, um, half and half in there. Because I wanted something decadent, but I didn't want to take any time to make anything. Um, I do have some Trader Joe's almond croissants, um, that may be way super old. They were in the freezer and I can't remember when I bought them. But I have them proofing in the oven. <laughs> So we'll see how that turns out later. That'll be a nice treat if it if they're not freezer burnt. <laughs> um, so that's my morning so far. Um, let's see. Last night uh, I did put in about four hours of stitching between uh, my before work and lunchtime stitching and then after work stitching. Uh, it was about four hours and four minutes total. 
and I got about two and a half hours in on this guy. So that's where we are. I've added um, some blue, finished out the yellow in the moon there. Um, so I've got over two hours on this guy. So I, um, I was debating last night and this morning whether I was going to get started, uh, excuse me, whether I was going to start the day on that guy or move on to something different. I think I've decided I'm going to go to Stiach for at least a little while today. I might come back to this one, but um, I think I do want to get some more work in on it. Um, at the very least, I think I want to try to set a goal for uh, finishing out these main squares. That might be a little bit too much. Um, I can certainly, I think I can certainly finish the sun square, um, but I kind of want to, I would like to finish both of them this weekend and we'll see how that goes. Um, but I think I'm going to work on Stiach for a while just for a little flavor of something different. Um, got a couple of Zoom crafty chats that I'll be, uh, one I'm hosting, um, yeah, one I'm hosting. The other one um, I might just jump in on for a little while um, and chat with some folks while I'm stitching. Tomorrow's probably going to be a nice quiet day, or at least I'm hoping it's going to be a quiet day. I might do some cooking and that kind of stuff. So I know I'm just rambling at this point. This is really meant to be just a quick update in the middle of stuff, but uh, my brain is not completely awake, so I'm just, just talking about whatever. Um, so yeah, probably not a lot of updates today. Um, I We'll check in with you later, um, either, if not today, then tomorrow. Um, I will at least do a morning thing tomorrow, and we'll see how it's going. I hope you're all having a great weekend so far. I hope you're getting lots of progress in, and uh, we will chat soon. So I've just hit an interesting snag. I'm getting ready to work on this guy. This is Stiach, um Season 5, however you want to put that um, and I realized as I'm looking at the pattern um, that these dark blue stitches um, are not the correct color for the pattern I've evidently reversed something so <laughs> I'm sitting here now trying to decide if I'm gonna frog these stitches or if I'm gonna maybe just reverse the colors um, it looks like I only made that mistake with this one color but um, yeah so that's fun <laughs> <laughs> at least there's not a ton of work here so I I just it's really giving me pause my brain is just like Arr! so um yeah <laughs> on we go